Hello friends. In this video, we can understand a different type of essay. On the rule of the road is written by A.G. Gardiner. Alfred Jock Gardiner, 2nd June 1865 to 3rd March 1946, was a renowned British author, newspaper editor, and English journalist. He was born in Chelmsford, UK. And his early life, he started working at the Chelmsford Chronicles and the Burning Mouth Directory. He joined the Northern Daily Telegraph in 1887 and later on Blackberry Weekly Telegraphs in 1899. In its editorial team, he worked as an editor of the Daily News during 1902 to 1915. He is specially recognized for his essay under the pseudonym Alpha Plot. His essays are written under his own initial. Two are well known The Daily, Life of the English, and the Common Issues in the Lives stand at the course of his writing. His most celebrated and universally recognized work includes Prophets, Priests and Kings, Pillars of Society, The Warlords, Pebbles on the Shore, Windfalls, Lives in the Wind, the Anglo-American future. What I saw in Germany. Letters from Germany and Austria. Life of George Cadbury. The life of Sir William Harcourt. Many fears. John Ben, and the Progressive Movement. Portraits and portents and certain people of importance. Though his writing, uh, along with the common issues of the English people, he projected the socio political, intellectual, economical, and religious issues and problems of contemporary British society. On the rule of the road appeared in Cardinal's anthology entitled Lives in the Winds. The essay dealt with the very fundamental socio-political issues. For example, individuals and political liberty. And discussed what constitutes true freedom. Gardeners looks towards liberty as a social contract instead of a personal affair. He began his essay by giving an interesting story of a fat old woman walking in the middle of the road on a busy street instead of the footpath. Obviously, that leads to confusion and chaos in the traffic. Being a pedestrian, she must walk on the footpath. But she was enjoying her personal freedom to walk anywhere she likes. As she was a public 
as it was a public servant. He then gives the example of a traffic police who appears as a nuisance for the most of us. But later, we realize that he is performing his duty to control and regulate the traffic and helping us to enjoy our freedom. Otherwise, there would be utter chaos, confusions in the traffic and the traffic would be blocked and nobody will reach to his or her destination safely and in a time. Gardiner says that liberty is an accommodation of interest. We are free in matters which do not touch anybody else's liberty. This is the kingdom of our liberty in which we rule independently. But we step out of his kingdom if we disturb other. We can play musical instruments whenever or wherever we liked. But if that sound disturbs the neighbors, we are misusing our liberty. Our liberty must not interfere with this liberty of others. And incidents in a railway journey is described here by the narrator. The narrator wanted to read a book quietly, but one of the fellow travelers began talking loudly and he was unable to concentrate on the book. He could not ask the other person to speak in a low tone. The person would have liked it, but the person should have take care not to disturb anyone with his talk. This person had not a social sense. Gardiner wants to demonstrate the proper social conduct is based on a reasonable considerations for the right or feelings of others. A man is better trained in social behavior. Gardiner believes that the right of a small people and quiet people are as important to preserve as the right of a small nationalities. On the road, the same motorist deliberately used the loud horn for bullying others. This is like the bullying of a small nation of a Belgium by a big nation Germany. No one has any right to be bully or motorist on the road. It is not the civilized way. It is an important behavior like harassment of a smaller national by a big nation like Persia. A person who has brought a gramophone and played the songs loudly on Sunday afternoon had disturbed all the surrounding people. This is not a civilized conduct. William Hazlitt, a great writer, said that a person who wants to learn the musical instruments like a uh, trombone has a right to learn it at this own home. But he should not try to create a minimum disturbance. He should try to create a minimum disturbance. He should practice and practice the trombone in his attic and should keep the window closed. 
disturbing the peace of others is likely going to their gardens without invitations and trampling their flowers bait sometime it becomes difficult to decide whose liberty is important the narrator's friend does not like street pianos and whenever he finds them he orders them away but there is an, an old lady who loved to listen to the music played on the street piano both of them have a liberty either to listen to and not to listen to the street piano it is difficult to decide whose liberty is more important the world is complex and we should try to find a balance between individual liberty and a social liberty the rule of the road is an example of a social rule that we need to follow it is true that all of us have liberty but we should always understand our responsibility our responsibility is to see that the others are not harmed or disturbed or troubled because of our behavior the essay speak about social liberty hence the social liberty can only be guaranteed by a collective agreement to surrender certain individuals liberty the essay speak about social liberty all to keep others freedom intact for the betterment and improvement of our society thank you for watching and subscribe my youtube channel for more informative videos Thank you again.